Hey, it's the Rusty Dusty Picker Channel once again, coming to you with another uh, rescued garage sale, yard sale, estate sale, driftwood, um, throwaway item craft, so to speak. What we have here is a piece of uh, teak wood. It's a glass rack made by SeaTac, uh, made in Thailand. Anyway, I uh, picked it up for a dollar. I like these types of things. Primarily made for boats and boaters. Has, you know, has the original hardware. Uh, you know, I looked it up. Probably sell it for $15, $20 on, on eBay. But I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. I'm not going to disturb the teak at all. Um, it's in really good shape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to make it into something that can kind of sit on a shelf or on a, uh, on a coffee table. So you can put your beverage, you can put your glass, your bottle, your can uh, next to you at the table. So I'm going to pair that with this piece of driftwood, which has a great color to it. Uh, I did sand it to uh, to make it friendly, and it's got still has some hardware on there that's staying. So I'm not going to do anything to this to clean it up. Um, I wiped it down real good. So what I'm going to end up doing is mounting mounting them together something like that uh, therefore the first thing I'm going I'm going gonna have to do is any decorating or nautical stuff I'm going to do on this I have to do first and then seal that and then last thing I will do is come back and uh, and mount this in the appropriate in the in the place where we want it so all right so let me get to work Okay, so first off, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going I'm going to I'm going to add this whale's tail. This is something. This is a stencil that I cut out uh, on my own, on you know on this piece of stencil paper. I guess they call it mylar, plastic, whatever it is, and I'm, that's going to peek out right in the center here. So I'll, I'll put it right there. It looks pretty centered, so I could take this out, leave that there. For now and I'm gonna paint that a blue I didn't really know whether to go with the uh, navy blue or the dark blue so I've decided to uh, to mix them together because I wanted something in the middle obviously so I'm also not going to mix it perfectly I want it to be not so perfect so we'll just go nice and easy here And I'll come back and I will highlight this whale tail with um, with some highlights, some some whites, some off whites, so it looks like you know, sort of looks like a little more realistic, as if it's you know a whale once again diving back into the breaching and then diving back into into the depths. So. After it dries, of course, I'll come back and do that. And then when I'm done with this, I will let this dry and I will go figure out what else we're going to do. You know, we have space up here and maybe a little down here to play around with. So I'll either make stencils or see what I have and, uh, you know, we'll see what we can't do. And once all that's on, like I said before, we will, we will reattach. Actually, we will seal it and then reattach. So, all right. So there's the the beginning of the whale's tail. Let's let that dry and uh, revisit it. So that's where we're at so far. It's just about dry, and then we can move on here. All right. So I went digging and I um I found this little stencil. Got a couple of boat anchors some chains, some netting. I'm just going to put a little a little boat anchor on each on each corner down here. Like so. One here and then one over here. I'm just going to stencil that on real quick. 
take two seconds. I'm using the dark blue. It's not the mix of the navy this time. Change it up a little bit. These could potentially need a little highlighting too so they stand out. Especially when we coat this thing, it's going to darken it. So, we'll see what happens. No worries. Okay, so this has a little bit more little bit more drying to do as well. <coughs> But we are, we've got to start. So this will sit here. And we'll figure it out. All right, so while I'm at it, I am adding uh, smaller anchors to the top corners. I've already done the one on the right, so I will come back through here and do this one here, up in this corner. Yeah, you want it to line up okay. I really don't mind if it's it's not perfect. Whoops. And I while I was thinking about this, I realized that we have a happy a happy challenge that I, I had forgotten about is and that is that I'll show you that first. We got these little anchors now. Um, the fun thing is that I have to do the back too, because the back is a piece as well. Because if this is going to sit on on a coffee table like this, like that, then the back is visible. So that's cool. So we'll figure out something nice to do with that if we can. All right. So we're dry now with the whale. <clears throat> Excuse me, the whale's tail. So let's let's splash a little little highlight on there. Bring it to life a little bit. Go right down the middle. Trying just to poke it, not brush it. And also trying not to get too carried away. This you, you can do too much. So I'm gonna I am going to I'm going to resist putting any more paint on it. <laughs> anyway, so that's what we're gonna have for the for the whale's tail right there. Okay, so we'll come back and, and move on. All right, good. So next what we're going to do is something um, really unfancy, but I'm just going to put a dot on all of these anchors right where they join together here. Just like that, just with the, the tip of a nail, the sharp tip, just to give it some definition. No reason, it doesn't represent anything, but... Okay. Just let a dot mellow out right about there. You know, it's it's a little dark on dark. It'll be fine, but just give it a little life. Just a little bit. That's all we need. Just a little more definition, as promised. So, all right, let's try. So, yeah, so indeed we do have an issue, um, but it's nothing that won't be anything but uh, productive. So, yeah, I, I did spray the back of this piece um, with this Rust-Oleum 2X, sort of a dark, sandy color. 
Uh, I don't think it's labeled, but that's that's what I used for this, and it's dry now. So let me uh, let me grab some more materials, and we will um, we'll attack the back and get moving. Okay, then. So let's just uh, I decided we'll just stay with the whale theme on this guy, and we will kind of dust in this this larger whale's tail on the back. I'm going to use what is a blue, which is a powder blue or azul polvo um just regular michael stuff and we will you know, just kind of go around the result of this it will look like a brown tail on a powder blue background i might add some accents as if the uh <clears throat> the tail is entering the water, but I got to be careful with that, but I might do it. So, 52 in the shop today. So, plenty of throw clearing and sniffling. But tomorrow, they're looking at 80, so a third, a 30, 30 degree change overnight. So that'll be cool. Chip a couple hundred balls in the yard. Paint, ship, sell. Don't sell, save for myself. Who knows? But this piece will be will be a sale item. Either on Etsy, eBay, or privately. Let me just let's give it a little more. Got jailbreak here. We got the insects are coming out now. They heard about the weather. We got a nice little ant here. Let him go on his merry little way. Crack a window. The uh, the insects come right in. Amazing how that happens. Okay. So let me let that dry a sec, and we'll uh, we'll take it, uh, we'll take the Manila folder that I I cut it out with off. So before I do that, I'm just adding some more accent, as you can probably see. If not, just some drops in here of paint on a nice stiff uh, stenciling type of a brush, where it's kind of. It's a variation in texture, it's a variation actually in color within the same color. Because you're, you're putting more concentrated paint on a thinner version underneath. So, anyway, I thought I'd show you that and then we will, uh, actually I'll do it now while it's semi-wet. We'll take this tail off. And reveal a whale's tail on the back. Sort of like that. Alright, so I will detail the inside. So that's what we're looking at. Be right back. So we'll just add a little color. Let me take the gum out of my mouth. Hold on. Alright. Yeah, we're going to add a little little light coloring to this judiciously. We'll start up in here. Just sort of a barnacle-y situation.
and then I'll fade it out. I'll let the I'll let the brush exhaust itself as I go down like this. If you can see that. Just let it fade out on its own. Just let it peter out. I'll do the same on the other side as well. I don't know if you heard that, but I guess I must have just sold something on eBay. Doesn't suck. Don't want it to match exactly the other side, so... Okay, so let me play around a little bit more, but you get the idea. Okay, just to save time um, on this video, I, I finished it up. I went all around and did it and faded it in a little bit there. So now we've got the whale's tail. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of navy <clears throat> up in the corners here. If I have a brush. Okay, so let's... Very little. I just want to give it sort of like the reverse on the other side. Just give it a little bit of a little bit of definition up in here. Just tapping. Same over here. Kind of feel your way through it. Once again, we'll fade it out. I don't know the technical the technical terms of any of this stuff, obviously. So. Just fade it. Like so. All right, so that's the idea there. I'll do a little more and we'll come back. So yeah, um, I just, I'm just gonna leave it rush, rush, rough. Um, just the way it is right now um, and then what we're going to do is try to figure out a little more that we can do with this um, I'm thinking maybe a nautical star here and here um, but yeah I just wanted to show you how that came out just really being rough with it sort of abstract nothing um, no straight lines all that kind of fun stuff so let's see what happens all right, so I sealed this off now. It's got the uh, protective coating now on it. So um, I'm going to turn my attention back to the front and see what uh, finishing touches we can do there and then attach 
uh, the bottle cup can holder and um, and move on okay so the back is now uh, pretty much done um, and now we're going to do something on the front I, wa I wanted to do some lettering up in here so I'm just going to do a fishy a fishy themed um, saying which would be tight lines um, so I'm going to use this stencil here it's kind of an old sort of an old west type of a font but it's it's a good size to try to get this done so um, I'm gonna play with play around with that get that started see how it comes out Looks like the G didn't quite get formed here, so let's. It's the beauty of stencils. Just put it right back over it. And a little T at the end here again. Jeez, almost lost you. All right, so there's tight. <clears throat> I'll come back in and I'll put lines on the other side. Okay. So there we have it. Tight lines going now, so... <clears throat> I'm going to let that dry, then I'm going to seal this, and then I'm going to attach the, the teak wood uh, can and bottle and glass holder. Okay, we're all sealed up. We're looking good. Um, just going to leave it just the way it is. It's now been attached. I used the, uh, the four flathead screws that uh, came with it, original. And um, yeah, so we're done. We are now attached, ready to go. Our little, this is our little teak bottle can glass holder. Thanks for joining us today. If you like this stuff, hit the thumbs up. You can subscribe, of course, to get reminded. And um, my videos will be recommended every time you go on YouTube, I would think. So thanks again. Peace out.